Hi guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about using multiple traveler's notebooks and how I use multiples and why I cannot for the life of me ever just get down to one notebook. And like a lot of you, it's you know now October and a lot of us are thinking about um, what we're going to use for, you know, planning and journaling and all that good stuff for the next upcoming year because I know I've been thinking about that a lot. And I've just learned to embrace what I do and how I do it. And, you know, it's so easy to get caught up with what everyone else is doing that sometimes we lose focus on, <clears throat> excuse me, what actually works for us. And I don't even have Instagram, and thank God, because if I did, I I don't know, I would probably be living in a house made of traveler's notebooks because I would just be way too overwhelmed with seeing everyone's pictures and all of that stuff that I would probably just go insane, and I go crazy enough without it. I am in several of the traveler's notebook groups on Facebook. I don't really post a lot. Um, but I love, you know, seeing other people's spreads and seeing all of their notebooks and seeing all of their inspiration and all of that good stuff, just like the next person. But even then, sometimes it's kind of hard because I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, you see everyone's stuff and it's really hard not to want it. You see how other people are doing it and you're like, why doesn't that work for me? And I've just come to the conclusion that... I'm just going to do what I need to do, and my Traveler's Notebook journey has definitely changed so much since I started using Traveler's Notebooks, and I've just come to the conclusion that I love them, and it is what it is. I'm going to continue buying them, and I love them, and this is what I do, and I love it. So I'm just going to kind of just give you guys a quick overview of what I'm using right now and what I've got or what I'm using them for. I'm still, again, contemplating what I'm going to use in 2017. And one of the main reasons why I cannot just go down to using just one book is because I have a lot of personal personal journaling that I do. And if I had my, you know, notebook, my traveler's notebook, and it had all of my private stuff in with my planner and I don't know if it got misplaced or lost or left in a shopping cart and somebody happened to see that I think I would die like I would just die <laughs> I don't I not that I'm just like you know I don't know I'm just saying like my private thoughts and things that I really needed to get out of my brain you know I've got a lot of personal stuff in my personal journals and me personally, like I would just die if somebody saw that. But that's just me. But again, let me show you guys kind of what I'm using right now. And if you guys are using multiple traveler's notebooks, um, please, you know, leave a comment down below. I would love to talk to you. And even if you are one of those people that I sometimes am jealous of that can use just one and be happy with that, I would love to talk to you also just because, um, you know, and it, it really does inspire me to see how some people really can just use one book. Um, again, I've come to the place where I know I'm not that person, but I really look up to those who definitely can achieve that feat. So right now, what I've got going on here, this is a standard size Midori, and I've got this set up right now for my upcoming trip. So this is going to be kind of like my travel journal and so I've got this set up for travel and another thing I wanted to mention too guys is that I don't go in and out of all of these notebooks every single day but these are just things that I kind of use on a regular basis and so I've got my blue Pan Am Midori here and I use this for memory keeping kind of like a scrapbook I put pictures and just things I want to document in life in here and then this is my beautiful Jane, and she is holding two passport size art journals at the moment. So I've got her. This is my Speckled Fawns Kodiak, and this is what I'm using right now as my main planner. And as you can see, yes, she's like super fat. 
um, on camera I know it looks like there's like a lot of stuff like hanging out but it's actually really not it actually tucks in really nicely in here and fits everything in I would say better than most things and I do have another um, video coming up for you guys soon the part two of my tons of tiny TN video I'm still waiting on a couple of them to arrive but I will show you guys um, the notebooks more in detail then once I have everything and this is my Hobonichi that I'm using right now this is the 2016 and I use this every single day and this is just my A6 Buteo Bunker. And then I have my A6 Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee. And I'm using this. I've got my 2017 Hobonichi in here now. And I decided that I'm actually just going to use this as an art journal. So I'm not going to, I'm going to cover up the dates and paint over them or do whatever. So I've started doing a few things in here already. Um, since I'm, I'm not going to use it as like a planner or a specific date book, so I've already kind of started using it. So this notebook is housing that. And then I've got all of my spiritual and faith stuff in my um, Field Notes Chic Sparrow in my pocket. And this again is the Jitney Red and the Outlander, and I super, super love that leather. And then last but not least... This is um, my Hobonichi Cousin. This is for 2017. And I'm going to be using this. Oops. I'm going to be using this as my personal journal for next year. So I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right now that are all pretty much in use. And I know some of you would be like, that is pure ridiculousness. And I feel like that at times also, but when it comes down to everything, I don't know why it just, it does just work for me. I think I resonate a lot with Miss Vicky B and like Mommy Reporter here on YouTube because I know that they too use multiple Traveler's Notebooks, you know, at the same time and they have a lot of covers and they love switching them out just as much as I do. And so I know I don't feel alone in that regard. <laughs> But still, at times I do get overwhelmed. But again, I can't, for me personally, I don't feel like I could put like my spiritual and faith stuff in with my main planner and my personal journal and all of my art stuff and carry that around with me. To me, that's just impossible. And again, I wouldn't want anybody seeing that. And like even for instance, in my spiritual and faith journal, I think I have like seven inserts in this guy so and I use all of these so there's no way that I could fit everything into one book either and so this is kind of like an ongoing thing that you know I do use every day and a lot of times when I fill up inserts I tend to keep them in there you know as like reference material and like to look back on them and that type of thing and, um, oh, I did have a question. I knew somebody was going to inbox me and ask me this. Um, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't hate the Field Note size and I don't hate the Field Note brand. What I meant um, by what I said on my previous video is that the Field Note size and the Field Note inserts do not work for me for my main planner because my main planner, I like to have the Midori brand inserts. That's what works for me as my main planner. I really like the Midori paper, but just for like my spiritual and faith stuff and just like journaling and writing and stuff like that, um, this actually works well. Um, like I said, I don't, I really appreciate all of the thought and the inspiration and everything that goes into the Field Note brand, like how the, the process is that they use to um, come up with new cover designs and new colors. I think that is amazing you know I'm not you know saying that I hate it or anything like that um, I just can't use that size for my main planner and as you can see it already looks like I use every size under the Sun anyway and I feel like I do but um, yeah I don't know guys um, I'm kind of curious to know what you guys are thinking about you know your planner setups and what you guys are gonna do for 
2017. Are some of you guys going to go back to rings? I have figured out that I am not like a spiral planner girl. I bought two Erin Condren's for next year and I never really used them for planning anyway. It was kind of more like a scrapbook memory keeping thing anyway and this year or next year I don't even know if I'm going to use those at all. I own multiple happy planners and I cannot even tell you how many ring planners I have that I really need to start selling because I'm not using them and you know again like this planner and journaling thing can get overwhelming at times when we get too overwhelmed with like all of the stuff and having all these planners <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to figure out like what is working for us so I guess you know to those of you who like are kind of new and you're overwhelmed by everything that's going on I would say like quote unquote in the planner community just try to figure out you know what works for you and what size you like and once you find the perfect combination of the size notebook and the inserts that you like you know plus your cover once you find the right combination of all of that everything will come together even if you figure out that you have to use multiple books and again that's okay it's your planner it's your books you can do whatever you want to do and you know don't feel weird if you're doing things way differently than everybody else because it's okay so anyway guys I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and share that with all of you again I love talking to you guys about notebooks and stationery and planners and all that good stuff so if you have any comments or questions please link them or please leave them down below and I will see you guys soon in my next tiny TN video. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.